So I come here for the launch of the Nissan Qashqai. This is it. And I've actually dressed appropriately. Look at me in the royal blue hoodie, which you can buy on bobtavern.com. I'm the same color as the Qashqai itself. Few interesting factors about the Qashqai today, which really have attracted my attention. First of all, the look. It looks like a Qashqai, but yes, you know, you can see that kind of modern approach to the whole thing. I love the little detail of the word Qashqai right here in the wing. It's only a little detail, but it means a little bit. Uh, 20 inch alloys on this one. This is the top line spec. This is kind of pre-production one, so it's coming. It'll be here by summertime is what we're looking at. But there's really interesting thing. Two engine options, a 1.3 mild hybrid. Let's ignore that for a minute. It's also a 1.5 litre petrol they're calling E-Power. So that E-Power engine uses the engine to charge the battery to drive the electric wheels. Doesn't sound revolutionary until you realize that it only uses the engine to charge the battery. If you accelerate or decelerate, it doesn't matter what you do, it will only run in EV power and it's only been powered, the batteries are only been powered by the petrol engine. Realistically, it's like the range extender system that BMW had, Nissan have had this e-power team before. I, I'm intrigued by e-power. I think it's actually a pretty good idea. It's one way of looking at what we could possibly do with the future of making sure we can keep an ICE engine if you want one, if you want a hybrid. It's a different way of doing hybrid. Let's have a little poke about on the inside, see what else we can find in here. this is the rather plush interior of the new Qashqai and I actually really like this interior I recognize it as a Qashqai straight away I can recognize this is a Nissan interior but it's very high quality a good touch on the door as well really strong heavy feel to the entire car it feels like a big lump of a car as well uh, electric seats are on this one as well we've also got rake and reach on the steering wheel which I quite like uh, I mean, that just gives you plenty of options. You've got a 10 inch screen on this one. Did it be an 8 inch screen on the lower models? It's the SVE model, top spec. Dual zone climate control, heated steering wheel, touch screen. You've got a 15 watt wireless charger, wireless Apple CarPlay, automatic gearbox. You've got the lot. Like everything that you want in a modern cash guy is actually here. Speaking of modern, we better cut to have a look at where it all started with cash guy. <laughs> Nissan launched sales of the all-new Duelist at Nissan dealers across Japan. Originally called a Duelist, the Qashqai was a worldwide success. It was actually so good that you still find plenty of the original versions around on the road today. Now this is where it all began. This is generation one of Nissan Leaf. This is the first one ever hit the market. This is actually an employee's, a Nissan employee's car. It's in incredible shape. But doesn't it still look fresh? If you were to take those headlights out now, put in modern day, I don't know, LED things or something really cool or snazzy, whatever it is, I think this car would actually still look very, very fresh on the road and still looks the part. While it's usually hard to replicate the success of the first album, the difficult second album of the Cash Guy became a worldwide success again. The car continued to grow in popularity in all kinds of segments. This one, made in Sunderland, caused all kinds of headaches when Brexit has come around because exporting it from Sunderland is a big problem. The current generation and the new generation are going to be manufactured in Sunderland as well. This is the latest version of the Nissan Qashqai still manufactured in Sunderland, but does it really bring anything new to the table? Now another little feature I wanted to look at, this is good for the family people out there. Look at this door, right? Opens normally like a door. Well, it doesn't actually open normally. Pull it again. It opens to near 90 degrees. Pretty much straight out from the car here. So tons of access here to get in for the child seats. This is important for the parents, by the way. If you're not a parent, you can switch off now. But tons of room in the back seat anyway. You can fit in here very easily. This seat is pushed forward a fair bit, but there's still tons of space back here for everybody. But I do think that's a really good, really interesting development for um, for parents out there, or for just someone who needs extra access you need to get into the car. Look, I can get off like a limousine. I can get straight out of the car and walk away. The door's not in the way. And, really good little toe down. Let's have a look at the boot. The boot space has increased from the outgoing model with 504 litres of space compared to the 430 litres of the last cash guy. I didn't see a spare wheel in this version, but I'm told to be a skinny spare wheel in the boot when we get the car. Even that the car industry was forced to close earlier in the year, I took this opportunity to ask the newest managing director of Nissan Ireland, Seamus Morgan, a few details about how the car industry might react in 2021. 
market point of view, we've uh, we've done quite well. Uh, the industry generally has done uh, fairly well. They're, they've actually, as of this week, the market is line ball with the same uh, market as the previous year in 2020, uh, which is a, a remarkable achievement considering that we've been locked down for all of this year uh, and we were only locked down for about a month of the equivalent period last year. So the market has adopted quite well, or the dealers have adopted quite well in terms of online selling and digitization, uh, click and deliver, click and collect, all seem to have worked very well for them. Uh, certainly for new cars and uh, from what I hear, uh, used cars are, are, are the same. Uh, used cars values are holding up very, very well as well. They'll be actually becoming scarce within uh, Ireland. That's a, a combination of uh, probably Brexit and uh, government policy and no. yeah, <laughs> new import duties. And then you've got at the tail end of last year, you had uh, the government uh, introduced NOx charges and stuff like that. There's a combination of all of that uh, has created and will create a scarcity of used cars throughout this year. And I suppose the only way that um, the network and the uh, motor industry generally will be able to uh, generate those used cars is creating a new car market and uh, you know tra trading in quality used cars. So overall, I think the Nissan Qashqai has gone the right direction. It's still very recognizable as a Nissan Qashqai, right? But this one's actually got a bigger wheelbase. It's a small bit wider, small bit longer. Same sort of footprint on the road. So it's still easy enough to park. It's got parking sensors, a camera on the back and things as well. Good direction for Nissan, really. I think this is going to be a big seller for them again. We're only on, I don't know what generation we're on. It's very little of them have actually passed by. So it's quite interesting to see that the, the Nissan Qashqai has been around for about 14 years somewhere around 14, 15 years, and yet we see them everywhere. Even generation one is still on the road. Here we are in a brand new generation. So let's hope that uh, this version of it goes out soon. And we're gonna be looking forward to the Aria next year as well. So Nissan Aria be in January, this will be out in the summer. Uh, that's it really for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget popslavin.com if you wanna buy these hoodies, just in case. Uh, you can get them there on the website. Uh, thanks for subscribing and looking after the channel as best you can. And until the next time, I'll see you on the far side.